to stop the socialist agenda, we need to get rid of these big pharma companies yeah. like Pfizer and Moderna. Pfizer, Moderna. That's right. You know what? Amazon. We need to get yeah. rid of Amazon if we want to stop Ta the socialist. Taxes are enough. And we don't revolt. We eat poutine. We drink maple syrup. You guys need to fight for your freedom because there is an underlining agenda that's going on. I don't know how much you know. I'm not going to get into that. The workers need to unite against uh, socialism. The workers yes. of the world need Absolutely. to unite and, to, and seize They're the all... means of production Absolutely. and everything. They're Thank all you. Standing up now. What do you think are some things we can do to fight the socialist mm -hmm. agenda? Love, truth. We have to hold a line, put our foot on the ground, and say enough is enough. The real root cause of the socialist agenda is the banks. Yeah. The big banks. Yeah, 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 yeah. The big banks through big pharma, big tech. Big uh, media. Big media. I'm out of here because we're done. We lose this fight, this country's over. Canada has always been a socialist type of country. You've been living under socialism for a long time because of the health care. Well, yeah, because of the health care and they, you know, they sneak it in here, they sneak it in there, everybody gets used to it. Now, everybody woke up, like, heavily, heavily woke up. What's the socialism like? It's like you want to see a doctor, and then you see a doctor, and then, like, they don't charge you. It's not that great of a system, guys. I mean, if you had a car accident or you emergency, it's fast. Because it's a socialist health care system. They're using, they call it, like, a triage thing. Sort of, yeah. It's what we have in there. It's like, you know, you want to pay to see the doctor, you pay to see the doctor. Exactly. So, like, I can pay to see the doctor right away. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I don't have to wait and do this, like, socialist triage system like in they have in Canada. Do you think these insurance companies are part of the socialist agenda? Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. 100%. Always the same clicks making the money. You, you can have cars doing... 50 miles at a gallon, a long time ago. Trust me, a long, long time ago. The automotive, automotive industry is definitely part of the socialist agenda. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, they're all in debt together. It's, it's all, who pays the bill? Us. Us, the, the, us, the, 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 the consumer, the, 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 the taxpayer. The consumer, the taxpayer, the middle class, we always get the bill. A lot of these liberals don't get is that we need to get rid of these corporations and these law enforcement agencies if we want to stop the socialist agenda. Exactly. I don't know if socialist is the exact word that I would use. I would call it communist agenda. We communist been, agenda. Yeah. I reside in communist I said socialist. Illinois. I don't know why you're calling it socialism. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. So when they violate any one of those or any others for that matter, we have the right to alter or abolish that government. We gotta get rid of a lot of these corporations in order to stop the socialist agenda. Exactly. So we seize the means of production, we, we, right. you, we, we collectivize, mm -hmm. we come together. We do it at the county level and we squeeze the local government, lock down the treasury, taking over by the people, for the people, of the people. You have these private companies in the United States and they're sort of furthering the socialist agenda. Uh, and that is true. If you go back in history and you read books, this is the playbook for communism coming into our country. We need to get rid of the uh, you know big pharma companies, the, the corporations, the big banks, in order to stop the communist agenda. You know what, yes. We need to all get together, workers need to collectivize um, you know, seize the means of production and tell them, you know, we're not doing this anymore. Right. We're just going to shut, we're going to shut down the country ourselves. The workers of this country need to get together, go on a general strike in order to stop the socialist communist agenda. Workers of the world unite, okay, strike and, you know, it's stop the communist agenda. Yep. Basically. Basically, that's what we got to do. Yeah. Yeah. We can't support it anymore. Together, we need to right? get rid of these law enforcement agencies if we want to stop the socialist agenda. If they're de facto, yes, absolutely, which they all are. No, not defunding the police, converting the police to be peace officers. We wanna, we, we're not going to abolish the police. We're going we're gonna to convert the police, the police yeah, to we're peace officers. And train them to, you know, to respect the Constitution, only the Constitution, and then not the corporation because they're all uh, obligated and beholden to the corporation. If you look historically, the people that disseminated Karl Marx's like original literature right. were the big banks. Sure, yeah, the Communist Manifesto was in full play right here, and right No now. one even heard about it until no. the big banks got involved and right, sort of right. pushed that out. Yeah.